As you can see, today we're going to talk that are inequalities, okay? Equations that are inequalities, okay, on a graph with two variables, y and x. Yesterday you learned how to graph an equation like this, y equals 2x plus 3, okay? Now, today we're going to learn how to graph y is less than 2x plus 3, or y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 3, etc. This could be greater than or this could be less than or equal to. But what makes it an inequality is there's no longer an equal sign. What is there now? A greater than, a less than, a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to. Right? So these signs make it an inequality where an equal just makes it an equal, right? An equal equation. Right? Okay, so now what they're talking about here, the graph of an inequality consists of a dashed or solid boundary. Okay? If we were to take this equation and graph it, what's B? Three. three. So we go up one, two, three, and put a circle. Now from there, what's our M? Two over one. So we go up one, two, and to the right one. And connect the, connect the dots. And we're done, right? That's to graph this. Well, now if we wanted to graph this, it's a little bit different. Now, do you remember that these two give you an open circle? Do you remember that? What do these two give you? Closed. Closed. Okay. So today, you're going to have to decide now, is my line open or closed? And you say, well, what do you mean, is my line open or closed? Well, if it's greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to, you'll have a solid line. That means just like that, right? Just like that. If you have a greater than or a less than, it's going to be like this. It's not a solid line. What do y'all want to call that? A dashed line? What do you want to call it? Uh, whatever. A dashed line, okay, a dotted line, whatever you want to call it. So these give you a dotted or a dashed line. These give you a solid line. Right? Okay. Now, if it's greater than, you're going to shade all the area above it. If it's less than, you're going to shade all the area below it. Are you confused yet? Yeah. Okay. So in other words, it's exactly the same as what we did yesterday, which was to graph this. The only difference is you have to ask yourself, is it a solid line or a checkered line? And the second thing you have to ask, let me get this back out. The second thing you have to ask is, do I shade the top or the bottom? Two questions. Is it solid or shaded? Second question, do I shade the top or the bottom? Two things you got to know today, right? So now here we have an equation, and instead of an equal sign, we have a greater than sign, right? So now since we have a greater than, we know it's going to be a dashed line, right? And we know it's going to shade the top because it's greater than. If it was less than, it'd shade the bottom, wouldn't it? So now here's the graph. It's a dashed graph. Okay? All of you know how to find the graph. And then you know you shade the what? Uh -huh. The top, which they did. You see how they shaded the top? Okay, here's a very good example of what we're going to be doing today. By the end of the day, you should be able to take an equation like this and create this. So now let's see if we can graph this on our own, okay? And we're going to imagine this is an equal sign, even though we know it's not. But the first thing I want you to do is I want you to say it's a dashed line. So let's go ahead and write it's going to be dashed. And it's dashed because it's not equal to, it's just greater than. And we know it's going to shade above and not below. Why does it shade above, Nina? Why, why are we going to shade it above? Because the B is 3. No, because this is a what? Oh, that is a uh, open. open. Yeah, open, but it's what? Greater. It's greater than and not equal to, right? Okay. So now let's graph it just like we know. We know that B is what? 3. What's M? 1 over 1. Not 1 over 1. Negative 1. Negative 1 over 1. So B is the number without a variable, and M is the number that's right in front of the X. Well, we don't see anything there. 
but we know there's an understood one, and you got to put it over one, so it's negative one over one. So now b is three, so we go up one, two, and three, and then from there we got to do rise over run. Okay, we're going to rise negative one. How do you rise negative one? Go down. go down one, and then we're going to run one, which is to the right one. So now that's our graph. Okay. But don't connect the dots yet because you've got to say, oh yeah, it's dashed. So rather than connecting the dots, we've got to dash, dash the line. Right? Did I do that right? Mm -hmm. I, I intended on making a straight line and I messed up, but you want to kind of have it dashed like this through those two points. Okay? Now, do we shade above or below? Above because it's greater than. If we was less than, then we'd shade below. So I don't need you to do it completely, okay? I just want you to do something like this, okay? So now let's, that's the graph that we created out of this equation. Let's see if that looks like the graph that the computer created. Let's look at the computer's graph. Does that look alike? Yeah, it looks pretty similar, doesn't it? Only difference is I don't have the pretty shading, okay? Okay. So, oh. all right, let's graph this together. Now, we, we got our two first questions. Is it dotted or solid, or dashed or solid, and do we shade bottom or top? So this tells us it's dotted, right, dashed. Well, let's say dot, dashed, okay. It's not solid. And then, since it's less than, do I shade below or above? So this is what below shade. How do you spell below? Two L's or one? It's just one? You sure? You're good. I am. Okay. So now we need to graph this. And we know our B equals negative 7. Okay. And our M is what? 1 over 1. Okay, the number next to x, there's not one, but we know there's an understood one. Okay, so now we need to graph this. We're going to go down 7 because we do our b first. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Put our dot. Then we're going to rise 1 and run 1. So we go up 1 over 1. Now, we said it's dash, so let's make it dash. Do like that. How does that look? It's dashed, and then do I shade above or below? Below. below. This would be above. This is below, so we're going to shade in here. Okay? Now, you can do something like that, and that will be plenty. See, this isn't much harder than what we did yesterday. It's easy. It's easy. Okay? I'm happy it's easy. Okay, so I want you to try another one. Ordered pair. Which of the ordered pairs is a solution of x plus y greater than less than? Greater than equal to. Okay. So they want to know when I plug in x and y, does it equal 7? Is it greater than 7 or equal to 7, right? Because isn't that what this means? Greater than or equal to? So when we plug it in, it's got to be bigger than or the same as 7. So let's plug it in. What's x? 2. 2 plus what's y? 8. 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. Is 10 greater than or equal to 7? Yeah. yeah, so this works. 10 is greater than 7. Okay. Let's plug this one in. Negative 15 plus 6. What is that? 9. Not 9. Negative 9. Negative 9. Is negative 9 greater than or equal to 7? No. No, so this isn't a solution. Okay, here we've got 0 plus 7. That's 7. Is 7 greater than or equal to 7? Yes. Yeah, it's equal to 7. So this is a solution, okay? So that's what you're going to have to do when they tell you which of the ordered pairs is a solution. you got to say, well, does this one work? Does this one work? Does this one work? All right, now, to solve, to graph this equation, because that's what we want you to do, graph the inequalities. You've got to get y by itself. <coughs> What's with y? 3x. So we're going to subtract the 3x on both sides. And this will go away, so I have y is less than or equal to 5 minus 3x. Now my b is what? And my m is? Negative 3 over 1. Now I have to graph it. Is it going to be 
Dotted or solid? Solid. Solid. Is it going to be shaded on top or bottom? Uh -huh. Bottom, because it's less than even. It's less than or equal to, so it's bottom. And since it's less than or equal to, it's solid. So I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, and put a dot. Now I'm going to go down one, two, three, and over one. It's solid line. Shade here or here? Down here. Down here. Because it's bottom or left. Bottom and left mean the same thing. So today we learned how to graph inequality equations. Okay? Before all we knew how to do was graph an equation. Now we know how to graph an inequality.